Hello, Algebra students. Mr. Lawrence here, and this is your video for April 7th. I uh, haven't checked the closure document. Here's what you're going to do. This is going to be a video on perfect square trinomials, and there is an assignment in Excel. All right. Remember, my office hours are in the morning and in the afternoon. Please stop in with questions or things you want to talk about. All right. Even if you want to tell me about your dog, it'd be nice to hear from you. I miss you guys. All right, here we go. So, factoring perfect square trinomials. I got four problems on here. I'd love for you to pause the video since this is all review. Just pause the video and see if you can do all four of them. Get them all four correct. If you can, yippee skippy. All right, here come my solutions. Please make sure that you've already tried them on your own. All right, I know number one is a perfect square trinomial because this is a perfect square and its square root is 5x. Square root of 9 is 3. If I multiply those two together, I get 15x doubled is 30x. So I'm going to get a 5x plus 3 and a 5x plus 3. Okay, or if I'm lazy, I could have said 5x plus 3 quantity squared. They mean the same thing. You don't have to put both answers, just one or the other. I'll alter alternate between uh, the two types of answers because some of you like one way and some like the other. All right, let's check and see if number two is a perfect square trinomial. Let's see, 9x squared, square root is 3x. Square root of 49 is 7. Multiply, get 21, doubled, 42. Sure is. I'm going to get a 3x minus 7 quantity squared. Bam, it's done. Now, I technically should be checking for the GCF. In both cases, the GCF was 1, so it didn't do me any good. Okay, so I'll check number three for a GCF. And again, I only find that it's 1. It's not going to do me any good. But this is going to factor as x minus 4 times the quantity of x minus 4. There we go. All right. Mention the GCF. This one has one. I'm thinking it's going to be 9. You know how, why I'm thinking that? Because 3 plus 6 is 9. 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9. And 8 plus 1 is 9. That number sense I'm using there only applies to uh, 3s and 9s. Okay? I can't use that for 7s or 4s or anything else. Threes and nines works really well. So I'm going to factor out a nine. And that's going to leave me a 4x squared. Let's see, 108 divided by nine. Let's see, it's going to go in 12 times plus 12x plus nine. Now I'm going to check and see, is it a perfect square trinomial? Because if it is, I got to keep factoring. Well, this is a perfect square. The square root is 2x. This is a perfect square. The square root is 3. Multiply together, get 6x. Doubled is 12x. Sure enough, the completely factored solution is this. Okay, there you go. Hey, by the way, if I wanted to figure out what this equaled, the 9 times the quantity of 2x plus 3 squared, like that, should I do 9 times 2? No, of course not. I should do the order of operations first. I should square the 2x plus 3 then I can distribute the 9 through. And if I did that to check my work, I would end up with the 36x squared plus 108x plus 81. All right, that's it for the video. Mr. Lawrence signing off. Have a good night, everybody.